Well, it does look like there is a lot going on when it comes down to the community and content creation at large. But also, it looks like there could be some potential delays in some of the upcoming content for Season 17 of Apex Legends. As you guys are aware, we're in somewhat of a stale season in terms of in-game content that has been released as we've only had more or less one event that had any substance to it. And other than that, it's really just been gimmick sales over and over. But today, we're going to be taking a look at Horizons Heirloom and what you can expect for it. But first, if you enjoy the channel, how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime I drop a new video. Now, unfortunately, we have to start this off by saying it does look like, at least from the information that we have currently from Thornton Smash, that they are having some animation issues with the upcoming Horizon Heirloom. And because of this, it may not come out as soon as expected. And that could mean that it gets delayed for a month, or it could mean that it gets delayed for an entire season or two even. Who knows? We've seen crazier things happen. As I have talked about before, there was the original leak for the Tonfa when Bangalore and Caustic had their heirlooms leaked, and it was quite some time before we actually got Bangalore's current heirloom added into the game. Now, what we do know is that Horizon does have an heirloom that's been worked on, and we have had some information for quite some time regarding this potential idea, as even L. Newlands, the voice actress for Horizon, had said a couple seasons back that she has words for who's getting the next heirloom and clearly it was ash that ended up getting the next heirloom however ash and horizon really are two very strongly connected characters in terms of the lore and more specifically when it comes to new horizon sun now moving forward with this i hope there is some type of at least play on the two characters and their association with Newt with the heirloom that would make the most sense and honestly might even be able to tie up some loose ends in the actual lore and story that we've been developing over the past few seasons. And honestly, it would be interesting to see what they're going to be doing in the future with these particular items. However, we have seen a pose or heirloom animation pose for the upcoming heirloom for horizon in the game files and as you can see it does allude to a two-handed weapon and honestly you people have run all over the place with this even myself included as i've speculated that it could be in fact something like a scottish claymore or even a lightsaber which i still think would be really really cool for the game in terms of just the tie-in to Star Wars, as you know, Respawn putting out the Jedi Survivor games and both of them being really, really good games. Honestly, the Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor both being absolutely stellar games. If you haven't played them, I highly suggest you do. Bugs aside, with the launch of pretty much every game in the last 10 years, it is definitely a game worth playing any story worth enjoying so check that out if you do in fact have the chance but moving forward it does look like we do have a little bit of information from thornton regarding what to expect for the upcoming horizon heirloom and it does look like it will in fact be a mace or flail type item and honestly it does make sense thematically lore wise you know going with the ancestry of horizon herself but more interestingly is how this could be used with the whole scientific background and the astrophysics background of horizon and with that a whole lot of different ideas are coming with the idea of it being a black hole based flail or mace and this does make a little bit of sense as you could think of a black hole being atop the staff or at the end of the chain for a mace which would be really really interesting for a weapon and at least would be very unique compared to most of the stuff we currently have in game is realistically when you look at a lot of the heirlooms they're either real items like the kunai or they're really really synthetic items like watson's price scanner 
And because of that, we could go so many different ways with the actual heirloom. But speaking of the heirloom, guys, it does look like we have an event coming up on June 20th. And I'm going to be giving you guys a chance to win 18,000 Apex coins for this particular event. So if you want a chance to win, check the link in the description. You'll find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries that will help you increase your odds of winning if you so choose to use them. But remember, you've only got so many days left to get your entries in before the giveaway will be announced. So make sure you're using up those daily entries as often as you possibly can. But guys, it does look like Horizon it could be delayed. As we do know, it there is a prestige skin, if not two of them, that have been speculated for this season. One of them being Revenant and the other one being Valkyrie. Now, we don't necessarily know if any of the rumors are true. Even Thornton's video regarding Valkyrie and her prestige skin are not necessarily 100% fact, as he said it could make sense. He never actually said that this is the item that has been confirmed. And, uh, you know, we don't necessarily know anything until Respawn does, in fact, show us some form of trailer that ends with the heirloom. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this one. So how about taking the time right now to drop a comment down below and let me know how you feel about Horizon's heirloom and the potential theme of a black hole and mace and potentially the name gravity mob being tossed around is this something you're interested in are you a horizon main are you going to be trying to pick up this item let me know in the comment section down below and uh yeah honestly for me uh you know not a big horizon player i do enjoy the character from time to time but i don't know that i will be spending the 160 dollars to get it for myself as honestly, I, I don't find any reason to, you know, collect the items in games unless I actually want the item for myself like Rampart's Wrench. But of course, guys, if you want to continue this conversation, how about heading over to the social media links? I'll put them up on the screen as well as in the description down below. Give them a like, a favor to follow, whatever you haven't done already. And it will be absolutely helpful to the channel as we maintain and succeed throughout season 17 and into the upcoming season 18, 19, and 20. Who knows how far it'll go And with the, the way the gaming and Apex Legends is going. Could get canceled tomorrow. And because of that, we thank you all for enjoying the content that we've been creating for the last four years. But here's another quick dub for you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll put another one up on the screen that you can check out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing, guys. And don't forget, you won't be able to enjoy any of the upcoming content in Apex Legends if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.